Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night, Pete. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. 
After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks steady enough. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over and down, this is. a fight. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these spectres watching the world? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Behind you! Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. I can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't go well. for good. Down you go. These people left Weed in town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? That all goes badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. 
Never a good sign. By the time selectmen sit on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. The welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. This must be the end. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Pour us a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave, or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further. What do you think? I could guess, to little you, in the minister's absence. You see, we're not... The widow da The house overlooks the... Speak to her. What can... I can tell you that first, but in all honesty... What... Tragically, I... 
I'll leave. Oh. If you'll have a chance. All right. What? If though there are more to... The... Boston. Some... I will... Will it... I fervent. If we do not res... Your... I am faith. And what have... They have told me. We agreed it. Hero. Indeed it is, madam. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But, as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people are idiots if they believe prayer will save them. <sighs> and here. Red. Come in. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here. I know. What happened? Poor Charles. You know how he is. I will... I... Look, I can't... Anything? I have... If he... You can... Will... Charles... Thank you. Before Charles and I'm there, he shared. Still, we met. I find Captain Pet Charles thoughts. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me, that was nice of him. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Ch I could have made it manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm.
These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? With all that's happened. This all for just one. It seems. Was this something I should have done different? None of this. I do not want to believe he is gone. You're in pain. We'll do it. Has the. Yes. Charles warned that some fit. In my sleep, I see poor Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear and. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye, you too. This fire can't have started on its own, not in this cold. A wisp, so close to town. Where are you leading me? More of you? I could beat you in my sleep. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. No. <laughs> 
Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Is here. I might be able to reveal it. Mixing pyrite with those plants I found should work. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... <laughs> Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. It's a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And here, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. 
and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. Be warned. Your death. I know. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your dear wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all.
I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Tia, she gave him the care he needed. <laughs>